guys welcome back to Enigma 77 Review. So today we are going to create this look using um, Colourpop palettes, two Colourpop palettes, one being Blowing Smoke which is the black and Just My Look which is the green. I have used both these palettes before so I know how they, how they fare as far as application and so forth. They are in my top 10. So guys if you want to see how I did this, keep on watching. Okay guys, so I have actually already done my makeup, my base. I used the Ciate Watermelon um, Hydrating Primer. Bigging this up guys, because this is absolutely amazing. I am now going to be purchasing a bigger one of this and I'm actually going to get the Ciate Powder. I've heard so many good things about it and I was recommended by Aisha the Moon of Stars about the powder i'm not one for powders as you know from previous videos i don't like using powders i don't like the way it sits in the fine lines and the cravats of your face and this just my makeup has been so flawlessly applied with this primer i love it obviously i've got up and i've done my morning moisturizing treatment and toner and so forth cleanser but i can't recommend that enough now guys i have recently grabbed some deals i got three foundations which cost me three pound i got the nyx cat stop wart stop for a pound i also got the fit me 103 maybelline and i got the um, natural collection i also got a palette for a pound guys which i will show you at the end of the video bargain so i have actually used the nyx cat stop wart stop today which is the light portulin as you can see it is quite a nice light shade i wouldn't say that it was full coverage guys i actually it says full coverage but for me um i wouldn't i wouldn't say it was full coverage for my kind of skin tone i did actually go over it again but this is a 24 hour matte finish guys and then i went over it with my uh, maybelline fit me I think this is another light shade, I think it's ivory. And I went over this with the concealer. Now, normally I do a lighter concealer on top, but I've gone for a, a little bit of a warmer shade just to give that warmth in the under eye and the mouth area and the forehead. And I've gone ahead and put my tape on, guys. So primer, I, I have lots of eye primer. I have put on my usual um, Technique primer on my eyes. And I've also got my Revolution Halo Cut Crease, if I need it, guys. I put on my tape, as you can see. I've done my eyebrows, as usual, with my Claritude. This is the best eye powder I have ever, ever used in my entire life. I can't say anything bad about it. Sometimes I will use a, a pen first, a gel pen, and then I will go over with this, but I've just gone over it with the powder today, guys. So I'm going to use two palettes. I'm just gonna base this on um, wearing a green, my black and green ombre wig. So I've got my Blowing Smoke Colourpop palette, which is my black one and my gray. And I've also picked up Just My Look Colourpop, which I've used in previous videos before. I just thought you guys have not seen me apply any makeup for quite a long time and do you know what let's just do it I'm only going to do one eye guys I'll do the rest off camera and I'm going to speed this up so I'm going to go in with my base colour which is my stone face which is this one here so I've got my new brushes which is the um the eco friendly brushes absolutely love these brushes I can't really say anything more than these are absolutely awesome i know a lot of people are buying different kind of brushes these work for me i'm not really bothered about brand names or anything if they do what they do i'm happy about that and these are the eco tool brushes i do have some new brushes coming guys with a palette when that comes we'll talk about it all right let's do a base color i'm going to do this eye for you to see and um, let's speed this up guys See you in a jiffy. So guys, I am just putting this just in my crease and above my crease, and then I'm just gonna blend it out. Don't forget to tap out your brush. Okay, guys 
guys so it's just a very very light gray shade and i'm just doing it as a as a base once i'm happy with that consistency that shade i'm then going to go in with the let's do it which is the black guys you really do need to tap out your brush on this section because the fallout can be a little bit eesh, and you don't want too much fallout when you've already applied your base makeup like i have as you can see just tap that out just use a little fine brush guys i'm just using a tiny little detail brush i'm just gonna go in the outer and i'm just gonna shade it out and just take it above the crease guys if you can and just mark out where it is you want to go Sorry for you, the ice cream man, guys. It seems to be that time of the year again. guys so you know what brushes you're using for what okay where do we go next i think next i'm going to go into just my look palette and um i think i'm going to go for the act natural which is the darkest green darker the better so let me just i haven't actually cleaned on my brushes my bad and that's not usually something i do normally i clean my brushes guys i have not had the time I have had a lot going on in my life lately, guys. So my apologies. Okay, so we're going in for the Act Natural, which is this one here, guys. And I'm just gonna put that in the middle and just bring it up slightly to match the black. Remember to tap out your brush again because these can be a little bit darker and you don't want too much fallout of darker colors. so now i'm going to get another brush and try and just pack in i'm going to have to try and look for a brush that i've not actually used previously oh i should have cleaned my brushes i'm just going to go on with this bigger thick brush and just remember to tap out your brush guys and then i'm just going to fill in that area and blend it into the black <laughs> okay so now i want to finish off this end obviously i'm going to go in with more of a lighter shade now i'm just trying to think what kind of a light shade do i want to go for do i keep it with the green or do i go with the gray i don't want it looking too strange um i'm just going to map out again with a small brush i think i will go in guys with um Chances are, which is the slightest shade. I'm going to go in with that one, guys. Don't worry if you forget to tap out on this one. It's only a light shade. But I'm just going to map out first, guys. <laughs> So I'm 
I'm going to blend these out guys so it's going to be a really mishmashy colour but it keeps the bottom part as it is because I like that you can always go over the bottom bits now I'm just going to get a blending brush guys let's see which one I've got that's the nicest this one feels quite soft I'm going to go in for this guys I'm just going to blend the three out leaving the the eyelid as it is and then we'll see what we get from that <laughs> to put a really light bright color here that's going to pop um, and then I want to lighten the brow bone I might just use a little bit of the white and see if I can just lighten up the brow bone with this white so I'm going in with young love from the black palette I don't know what the white is like but we will soon find out <laughs> so obviously i'm going to go under but i'm going to go off camera now and catch up with this eye when we come back we'll take the tape off and we'll finish under and inner and everything else that we, we usually do. So back in a jiffy, guys. Okay, guys, so I've completed both eyes as far as the lids are concerned. Now, I will have to go over, probably with a little bit of my concealer around this area here. But first, I'm going to go under. And I'm just trying to figure out what do I want to go under with. Um... I was thinking maybe stay with that green, which is that Act Naturally. It's quite a nice dark green. I want to keep it quite dark underneath. So I'm just going to... Blend it out. It is actually quite a nice shade, guys. I'm using my Kabuki brush, my Nan shade. It is my favourite, favourite brush. I do wash my brushes, guys, and this washes beautifully. Okay, so I've used that blusher. I've got my um, ice cream white highlighter from Revolution. I don't 
reach for this as often as I do my pink or shade but fan brush we're just gonna lighten out I go to the side of my temples and across my cheekbone <laughs> finish off my eyes guys because I think you've been with me long enough you get to see what I'm doing so I'm going to finish this eye I'm going to put my million feline lashes on I'm not putting lashes on top because I don't have time for that and then when we come back we will finish off the lips and discuss the finished look all right back in a jiffy guys okay guys so nearly completed one thing I'm going to show you what I do, I've got a box of gems and I've started using like gem preferences on the corner of my eyelids, eyelids, um, eyebrows and so forth. But I usually have my stamp pen which has ran out so I need to order another one. It didn't last very long I will admit. I do use my eye glue which is my duo and I just get a tiny little bit on the end of my hoof stick. tiny little bit I said and then I just put a little bit here and then I will grab a diamond with the glue end and then I just stick it down there now you can put as many as you like on there or anywhere you want that's obviously a little bit lower than what I want it so over here Zach guys he's had to go out on the trampoline he's sensory so you see and then if you want to add more or different sizes I have lots of different gems guys you know this is just um let me just go for a, the more smaller one so I can turn them around you have to be quick guys because the glue does dry it's very fidgety guys but once you get it you get it so you just put the two diamond there two gems and then all right let's try again there you go and that's it guys cheap thing to do you can buy your gems AliExpress, you can buy them from eBay, Amazon, you, you know where you get your eyelash glue from. And that's it. Now I'm just going to put a green and black lipstick on. I've got my VE Cosmetics and I've got this lipstick that I got from the occult box. And I've got my PS Cult Eyeliner in green to line my lips. satisfied with that I'm going to paint the black and then over the top with the green Get your green and just dab on 
where you want to put the green all over And then just finish off with any fixing spray you want to use. Voila! So blowing smoke, just my look, just a nice normal green look. I tend to do a full makeup look if I'm going to be going on camera, as today I've got a couple of videos I need to do. So I thought I might as well do my makeup for a change with you guys, just as a reference to certain colours that I am drawn to at the minute. These palettes are really, really good palettes, guys. For the price, they are worth it, even if you do have to pay that little bit more for your shipping. So that is that, guys. I said I will show you the palette that I paid a pound for. This is the palette that I paid a pound for. It's Makeup Obsession, and as you can see, nothing wrong with it. Bargain of the day, guys. Okay, so that is it, guys. Hope you like this little makeup look. I am now going to jump on camera. And do my next couple of videos take care of yourself pop your comments on below don't forget to hit that notification bell if you want to see when i upload tuesdays fridays and sunday sunday is still eight fit of the week if you've got any suggestions any ideas pop them in the comment box below welcome to all my new subscribers thank you so much for um coming aboard onto my channel it's a bit of a slow goer at the minute guys but i'm quite happy for it to just grow nice and steadily at least i know that you guys that are joining me are here to stay. All right, guys, take care of yourself, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.